Okay, Risha said to just go ahead and get started because her computer's rebooting. <laughs> so technical difficulties. So welcome everyone. I see Jamie, Nicole, Kate, anyone else on? Okay, well let's start with some good news. Who has some good news to share? And that good news can be anything big or small in regards to your wild tree business. And I want everyone to share, Jamie, Kate, and Nicole. Who wants to go first? You're gonna make me pick someone? I'll start if I can get my video back. Sorry, I was just- Your video's on. Posting on my team page. To remind people to get on, I'll share my exciting news. I finally had a new rep sign up. Yay. Yay! Wild, so I'm super excited about that. That is awesome. And what's her name? Uh, Joanne. Okay. Joanne Clark. Met her at a workshop. She's very sweet, very quiet. <laughs> so I have to like really kind of temper my not quietness when I talk a million miles a minute at her, try to match her energy. Yeah. Um, she works full time and she loves food and loves to cook and she's a little nervous about everything, but I'm just excited to like get some new blood and get her going. So awesome. That's so awesome, Kate. Leisha, we were just all sharing our good news. Oh good. I was saying my gal that I was telling you about did sign up this morning. Fantastic. Yay. Awesome. All right, Nicole, what about you? Um, I'm going to have to stretch for mine. I, well, I have to say my team is um, really excited about June, which who wouldn't be? Um, and so that's good. They're interacting again, which they've been pretty quiet. Um, so I'm going to take that. Great. That is really exciting, actually. You want your team to be engaged and excited over the summer, and this is the perfect opportunity for them. So that's awesome. What about you, Jamie? Jamie might be on mute. It doesn't show mute. Jamie just doesn't want her face to be the one that Zoom always picks as the, like, the cover photo. And it's always like a really flattering picture. Like she's going like. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I, I tease her that Zoom has a, an obsession with her. They love to pick her face as the one. So it's kind of funny that she's muted and we can't see her. So, and Janine is on. Hey, Janine. Oh, she's on mute. There you go. Hello. I need a backup. So what's your Do you have any good news, Janine? Yeah. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> there's always got to be something good. Not oh, there's lots. everything's bad. Yeah, no, there's lots of good stuff. Um, you mean wild tree related? Sorry, yeah. I joined a couple minutes late. Yeah, wild tree related. Um, I'm just excited about uh, all the summer stuff, the sunset suppers and the dinners in a dash and, um, double host rewards. So it's great. Awesome. And I don't know if you guys saw today, uh, I emailed this author doing a special Father's Day bundle and it's in advance of Father's Day. So you can spread the word and it's, um, three barbecue sauces bundled together with a $5 um, discount on the trio. So obviously that makes a great Father's Day gift for all those grilling dads out there. Or my joke as I put on my um, my uh, VIP group page, I said, or you can just keep them for yourself, of course. So. Yeah. Awesome. What about you, Abby? Um, let's see. I had a great little tasting yesterday that I was not excited about, but I turned my attitude around because I was driving – I put it in the GPS and it was 40 minutes and I didn't realize that. And she's like, I think I might have three people. And I'm like, I dropped 40 minutes for three people. There ended up being six and it was a great group, some really great leads and uh, a lot of fun. It just was a good, a good start to the month. It wasn't huge, you know, but it was, it was what I need to remind myself that it doesn't matter how small it is. You're still helping people and making connections with all new people. So um, that was a great, great day. And um, I'm excited when my good friends is going to join tomorrow. 
um, a friend from my friend from grade school that I reconnected with a few months ago, and we've been talking. And tomorrow's the day she's going to sign up. So I'm really excited about. That. That's super fun. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I hope to keep these calls fairly brief because I know summertime is kind of tricky because most of us, all of us, have kids at home usually, and. Um, so just to be respectful um, of everyone's time, but I'm looking here and almost everybody on this call was part of our business builder retreat. So Janine, hopefully you can glean um, some tips and ideas, but um, I know for all of us, we had the unique opportunity of having a guest outside speaker outside of WildTree come and join us this year. Usually we have someone, um, another director from WildTree share um, and so it kind of lent a different um, perspective. A, it was a male versus a female, <laughs> which is always interesting. And then um, just kind of gleaning from him, um, kind of his insights on helping people be successful, whether you apply it to your personal life or to your wild tree business. So um, one of the action items that he shared with us, um, I know Maria had shared in a video. I don't even know where you posted this. Um, but I've just gotten great feedback from people saying that it just really, even for those who were at the retreat, it just kind of helped clarify and just um, just make more sense of it or make it more actionable. Kate, is that what you would describe? I know you were one of the people. Yep. Um, so I asked Maria to share a little bit about that because I feel like having a mindset of knowing what you're going to do with your wild tree business in the summer is super important. If you just wake up every day and you're winging it and just carting kids here and there and putting out fires before you know, you'll be crawling into bed and go, Oh crud, I didn't do any wild tree today. And um, I know from personal experience that can spiral into weeks and suddenly a month. And then you're like, Oh man, I feel so behind or so out of the loop. And it's just so much harder to get your business up and running um, when it's like at a, a standstill versus even if it's just at the momentum of like, you know, picture a rock or an avalanche going down the hill, even if it's slowly going down the hill, that momentum um, is so much easier than trying to jumpstart your business from just a dead halt. So um, with that in mind, Maria, would you like to share kind of how you kind of took, um, Tim was the guest speaker, Tim Hooper, um, and share one of his kind of action items, you, if you will, and how you kind of wild treeized it to make it more applicable to us. Yeah, yeah. So um, he talked about priorities and really um, he did talk at the retreat a lot about vision and kind of where you, what you envisioned your life to be and who you want to be as a person and as a family and um, what your values are. And along with that, he said, okay, so prioritize your day around three Ps. Every day have three priorities that you want to, no matter what, before you go to bed that night, finish and accomplish. And I love that because three is such an easy number um, it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't make you think you have this um, total um, giant to-do list, you know, this whole laundry list of things that you want to accomplish. Three is pretty easy. And then I thought about, okay, as I organize my day, what will those three Ps be um, in regards to my wild tree business? And I, um, am I giving a lot of feedback? Is there background noise? There is, whenever you get on Zoom with me, I always hear like, it almost sounds like a, like a squeegee or something. I don't know. Well, I know that my, I know my computer does that. So I'll have to just, you'll talk through that. But I just thought I heard other background noise. I'll mute myself when I'm done talking. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Um, but the three Ps um, for me around my wild food business, I had this aha, the three things that we as Wild Tree reps need to do on a regular day-to-day -day, consistent basis are um, hostess coaching, team building, and customer reach out. And so that's just how I developed my three P's. And so in my planner, I can show you guys here, I can show you, I don't know if you can see, but in my planner, I just write down 
the three, those three categories and what I need to do in all those categories. And I know it looks like there's like a laundry list of things to do under each of those, but those are like all 30 second tasks that fall underneath those three categories of team building, hostess coaching, and um, customer reach outs. So that's just how I organize my day. My customer reach outs are the 10 people that I want to reach out to, 10 customers, 10 people that said to follow up with them. You know, some are people from parties, some are going back to customer care forms. You know, today I just opened up my calendar and I had two people that I think I reached out to on Facebook and they're like, oh, I totally want to talk about Wild Tree, but can you get with me at the beginning of June? So I wrote them on today, June 4th, beginning of June. Um, and reach out to Jessica and Golda, and then I need to go back and fill in the rest of the names I need to reach out to today. And then I've got hostesses. So I have current hostesses, the people that are having parties this month, maybe anybody that had a party last month that I still need to like close out parties with, um, people that owe me parties, people that said they need to have a party and we just haven't settled on a date. Um, this could be scheduling a post on Facebook for hostessing, like this month is huge with double free. So you do want to advertise that on Facebook and Instagram. So that would fall under my hostess category for the day. Again, these are all like 30 second tasks where I'm texting or doing a quick post. Um, and then team building. So what team members do I need to have calls with today? Those are usually scheduled. Um, who do I need to love on on my team today? Who could use a reach out from me or encouragement or be celebrated today? and then um, potential new team members. Um, am I scheduling posts for social media around recruiting? Am I reaching out to people about the opportunity, following up with people that were interested, and that kind of thing. And once I've got those chunked out, then I just kind of work that in throughout my family's day. We had swim team this morning. Um, there's a play date going on right now. So I can just, figure out when I'm going to do things, even when I'm on the go, as long as I have my book with me, I just do those things. You can do any of that from the car. So uh, that's what I do. Does that make sense? Is that helpful? It's been working really well for me. It just helps me think in my brain, what do I need to do today? And if I don't finish all my list of things to do in those categories, I don't care. So what? I know I touched all three areas of that business today and I can move things to the next day. No, I think that's super helpful, Maria. And even for the person who may be watching the playback and if you, you know, Maria probably works her wild tree business cumulatively, not just in one sitting, but cumulatively probably two hours a day mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah. Probably two hours. But you may be in a position that you work full time and you're just, you know, fitting in 30 minutes a day. Um, you can even just say to yourself, am I hitting all three of these P's, the priorities over the course of the week? And maybe one day you're, you're all your you're reaches, hunts, and outreach work is around one P. And maybe that's just post coaching, like she said, going back to ones that she just finished. And then obviously following up with those potential hostesses. So you can even think of the P's and, and dedicating your day, so to speak, to one of those P's if, if that's kind of where your schedule dictates, if you have a smaller, smaller chunk of time. But the key is here, I think, is not just always doing the same thing. Like if you're um, just always doing customer reach outs, but not doing any effort towards host coaching, then obviously that's going to fall apart and be kind of a mess. Um, same thing. I think the common one that most people will ignore is the team building part. And that's either reaching out to your existing team or to your future team, you know, following up, um, you know, asking for referrals for team members. If you're not actively making that a priority, then it's not likely that that part of your business is going to grow. So I love how you kind of, given almost like buckets to the, the three priorities. And for those who weren't there, Tim challenges to know, you know, what are your three P's that you need to do the next day? So like, don't go to bed not knowing what your plan is. Cause we all know failing to plan is, is just a recipe for, for pretty much disaster most of the time, whether it's your personal life or wild tree business. So 
Yes, my favorite quote is planning or failure to plan is planning to fail. There you go. And that's so true. My other favorite one is hope is not a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I hope that gets done today. Well, that will not work. <laughs> <laughs> So um, that has been super helpful to me. And I know that you should be putting your uh, family first this summer. Um, and Sonara gave real, five really good tips for how to work around that. Um, I don't know if you want me to share that here, Alicia, but I'm happy. I've got them all written down. Sure. I, I think even if people have heard them, it doesn't hurt to hear it again. Yes. So, and they kind of fit with the three Ps. I and mean, this is more strategies on like when you're going to do your three Ps, okay? So th these are five tips to help. Number one, which we already said, was write it down. <laughs> you have to write it down. It cannot just be all up in here because that will that, that feels like hope. Um, there, that's not going to work. You have to have it written down, and ideally you write it down the night before. Um, some people can't write it down the night before, and they're really early risers, and they love to, like, sip their cup of coffee and – write it out right then, but whatever, whatever works for you, you just have to write it down and do it ahead of time. Um, and number two is figure out what two blocks during the day you're going to work your wild tree business. And this was really helpful to think about, especially if you work full time or um, you work from home full time, whatever your full time gig is, it doesn't matter. Figure out the two blocks you're gonna work, maybe make them 30 minute blocks, and maybe you do one 30-minute block in the morning, one in the evening, or one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Whatever it is, just figure out what those two blocks are. Plan to get a lot done in those blocks by having everything written down. And then if something falls apart, and let's say you work full-time, but you were planning to do it over your lunch hour, and your boss comes in and wants to have a meeting on your lunch hour. Well, there went that 30-minute block. But wait, you planned another 30-minute block. So you're just going to do everything during that 30 minute block that day. And if you get to work those two 30 minute blocks that day, then that's even better. Then hooray, you get more done um, and that's great. So have two 30 minute blocks, that's tip two. Tip three is um, work when you're working and don't work when you're not working. So when you figure out what your blocks are, like Lisha said, mine might be longer than yours, but it, when you're doing your work, you work, and when you're not working, you're not working. So just, um, that's going to really help you create some balance and not have wild tree spinning. Again, writing things down helps with that. So even if you have a thought about wild tree when you're not working, just go write it down and get it out of your head so you can work that when you're planning to work. Uh, that one's hard, but it's a good tip. Number th four is... Um, Oh gosh, I'm reading my chicken scratch. Oh, schedule your own parties. So schedule your own parties. Abby's queen of this, and it has definitely launched her business in an amazing direction. Um, so many of us make so many excuses for not having our own parties, but she is queen of them, and her business has done nothing but go like this her entire wild tree career, and that is because she hosts her own events once a month at her house and she's always changing those events up I mean she's doing a mommy and me an instant pot she's doing all kinds of things that aren't hard they're still simple to do she doesn't complicate things but she's m meeting all these different people and all these different niches in her community and what's appealing to one person might not be to another and so she's constantly meeting new people that way or bringing new people into wild tree because everybody has a different um, need for what they want out of Wild Tree. So that has been super helpful for her. She's the guru to pick her brain about um, that. But I can't say it enough. Every time I run into somebody, I swear somebody tells me, hey, when are you having your next thing? I really need to prep, prep some meals. And I love when I have a date on the calendar. We've got a date um, nationwide meal prep party coming up on June 13th. So make sure you've all marked your calendars for that. If you can't be here live, still plan to prep the new sunset suppers. Um, and if you are out of town, plan on doing that with your group of local people, whether it's friends or um, team members, it doesn't matter. Just plan to prep on June 13th. Um, and then 
Um, number five is goals. Always have your goals. You know, how many people do you want to have join your team this month? How many reaches do you want to make this month? Um, how many faces do you want to be in front of this month? Really making sure those are written down somewhere in your planner, something that you can see regularly or put it on an index card and change it every month if you have it up in your office, just so you can see that and always be building towards those goals and writing down your goals as well. Writing them down beyond just the index card. Does that make sense? Those are your, those are your five tips. No, those are awesome. I love them. They all ring true. And just to promote too, as Maria said, if you don't have it on your calendar, definitely mark down June 13th. If at any way possible you can participate, I highly encourage it. Obviously we're gathering those of us here in the Cincinnati area, but you can do it in your own area. Just like Maria said, invite friends, customers over, um, and really just promote, um, prepping on that night. Um, we're all going to be doing the new menu because we're really excited to um, test it and try it and create all the new um, dinners. Um, but even if you're in a part of the country all by yourself, um, we're going to do like a, a, a live Zoom. So we'll kind of all start out together like this and then go to prepping. And then as we start closing, kind of everyone share their coolers and stuff. So um, whether you join us here in Cincinnati or create your own group where you are, or even if you're just in your own kitchen doing it along with us, we really encourage you guys to, to do that with us. So definitely get your kit ordered. And uh, if you're going to be having other people invite and join in, um, you want to be reaching out to them and saying, hey, I'm ordering the kits on, you know, June 7th or whatever your date is to get the kit in on time. So thanks for the reminder on that, Maria. That's awesome. That'll be a fun day. And a perfect excuse, especially if you don't live in the Cincinnati area, just pick that day and have people over and make, make meals. So, all right. Anyone have Lisa, any questions on those tips? Yeah. Did you mention a time for the people who aren't local? Uh, I don't think there was a time mentioned for that. Yeah, it was posted, Maria. Uh, 630. 630 Eastern. 630 e Eastern. Uh -huh. oh. okay. Yep. So all our West Coasters, I know that's like <laughs> late afternoon out there, but hey, you could do an afternoon one, or if you want to adjust the time, you could right. still post pictures to our page and so forth. But we'll, we'll do a Zoom thing where if, if people are participating remotely, we, we're happy to get on and see you or your group, and, and we'll, we'll show you ours. So just kind of a fun kickoff. And we can do a little cheers. So yeah, 6.30 on the 13th, Eastern time. Yeah, Nicole's like, dang, I'm central in Janine. They're like, that's 5.30. <laughs> but if you want to start yours at 6.30, you guys can all be starting and we'll be wrapping ours up. That would be fun too. So by the way, a little shout out to Janine. Janine is coming to stir, right, Janine? So everyone gets to meet Janine in person. We're so Yay, excited. I'm excited. Yes, that could have been your big exciting piece. I was sitting here thinking about them, like, we get to meet you in person. That's so exciting. <laughs> so we are excited for you to be part of our tribe in person. There's something about that in person part. So that just always is just special. So, okay. Any questions on any of the tips? Maria gave some great tips. I, I know for myself, having thinking in terms of those three P's has been really helpful. Am I touching those, all those areas in my business over the course of the day or over the course of several days, even if you want to spread it over two, two or three. Um, and then also the tips for just working your business um, around your family in the summer. All of those are awesome tips. And honestly, if you can implement those, you're going to see a huge, a huge change in just kind of your own mental feeling of success in balancing um, you know, potentially outside work, kids in the summer, and wild tree. So, anyone have any clarifying questions for Maria or myself? You guys are all good. Abby or Nicole, do you have anything to share? Kate, I know, is on the road, so we won't distract her. I can see the sky going by. Do you guys have any other um, little aha tips from the Business Builder Retreat that you've implemented that have been helpful to you? 
I just, I like the fact that he kind of took um, a bigger view of your entire life and then used Wild Tree as a way that it fits into your life instead of your life fitting into Wild Tree. I think one of his quotes that really stuck out to me, I'm going to mess it up, but he said something like, um, without a vision, your um, to do's are a are a like a taskmaster instead of something that was motivating. Your to do list just becomes a drag, and I feel like that can really suck energy. Whereas if you know who you are and where you want to go, Wild Tree fits in there, and you're you're recruiting people that match up to who you are and what Wild Tree wants to be for your life and your post coaching people in a different way that's coming more from a sincere place in your heart instead of, I'm doing this because Leisha told me to. I'm doing this because we have a new fill in the blank. Um, so for me, that's been something that I've been thinking a lot about, just how can Wild Tree serve me so that I can do a better job of serving other people. It's really loud in my house. I'm going to need Thank you for sharing that, Nicole. I know uh, you've spent some time reflecting on that and processing that, and you can tell that's really paid off. So um, for those of you who are at the retreat, if you haven't had a chance to <clears throat> work in your business while your kids are home, <laughs> um, if you haven't had a chance to kind of process that with your upline leader or director, please reach out to them. I know they would love to do that. And Janine and others who may listen to the playback that weren't part of it, if you're intrigued or interested, reach out to your upline um, director or upline leader, and we would be happy to have a bigger conversation. Because I, I know from what Nicole is sharing, um, it really does make a big impact if you can, if you have a different perspective. Um, because nobody wants just another task, tasky list. Um, but if it really aligns with who you want to be and your vision and goals. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. <laughs> um, then it just it makes it makes just your whole life just more enjoyable. And the bottom line is we we want our lives to be amazing and be the best version of you. So someone was trying to say something real quick there, I think. Did you mention the book for people who didn't know about his book to read? Yeah, I know I've posted on the success okay. page. Um, he has a book and it can be ordered on Amazon or on his website. We are going to start a book club on it, which I love because I love reading books, but I also love a, the accountability, but I also love being able to process it. And sometimes when books that have just a lot of meat and content to them, I know for myself, when I read it just through, it's so much information and I don't always um, process it and then apply it as best I can. And so we're actually going to take it out of order. Um, so don't feel like when you get it, it's like a 500 page book, like, holy moly, like we're not going to read every single page together as a group. Um, Tim has actually customized it for what he has learned from us in wild tree and where we are and what we're trying to do and serving others through wild tree. Um, so we're actually going to go a little bit out of order chapter by chapter um, and a different leader will kind of lead that discussion every week on, um, you know, what was that content and how can we apply it? Or if you have started to apply it, how, how has that worked in um, weaving it into your wild tree business? So, so if you're remotely interested, hop online. Obviously, Amazon gets things to you super quick. <laughs> um, or uh, go to his website as well. So thank you, Jamie, for sharing that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we I are. I, I, I just want to real quick um, say that in my experience uh, in the summer, that it's easy to get sucked down the whole like, oh, it's summer, you know, I'm, I'm going to be slower this summer, blah, blah, blah. And that you have to change your mindset and be positive about it. I watched a video about that and I kind of had an aha moment where I need to, I'm like, I need to stop saying summer slow for me because then you will make that a self-fulfilling prophecy. So just 
be positive and reach out to as many people as you can and talk about the double host and be excited about it and just think to yourself, I'm going to have an awesome summer. That is so true. Thank you, Jamie. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. Well, I appreciate those who are on live and um, for those of you watching the playback, um, hopefully you can join us in on the third Monday. So two weeks from today. And um, that's it. I want to, I want to let you guys go. So just a little housekeeping note. So the next one would be the 18th. So we'll have done our live um, nationwide meal prepping. And um, in the meantime, look forward to uh, seeing all of your successes. It's an exciting month with the double host being announced. So, all right, ladies, have a great day. Happy June. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.